Hey guys, what's going on? MTB Pro Unboxing. If you guys haven't checked out the regular unboxing, definitely check that out. In this video, I went over all the gear that I would use for the base in the box. I'm going to do the same uh, with the base in this box. So if you guys like that, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll continue to do that with each video. But let's get right into it. Alright. Got our card here. All right, first up we have the Live Target Sunfish. I actually just ordered two of these in my last Tag Warehouse unboxing video. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. There it is there in the package. Again, that is the Trocar, Trocar, it's the, it's the Live Target Sunfish. It's got a Trocar hook in it, I believe. Yeah. Trocar hook, Live Target Sunfish. That is the, let's see here, 3 inch and 7 16 of an ounce. That goes for $13.49. I've heard mixed reviews on this bait, so I'm going to try it out for myself and let you guys know my thoughts on it. But um, let's go take it out of the package here. For this, again, top water, but most likely one like this. I'll be throwing in, you know, heavy cover around lily pads, grass masks, things like that. I would use, uh, still, I still want a shorter rod just because I'm working the rod towards the water. I, you know, if it's too long, I'll let it smack in the water. But I'll use a seven foot heavy. Uh, most likely I'll use that Akuma rod, that moderate action rod. It uh, just gives me just a little bit of a delay. And um, seven speed reel with a uh, 50 pound braid is what I would use for the, uh, the sunfish here or any top water frog really. Good looking color though. Small little bait. It appears to be really soft. I look forward to trying that out. Pretty cool. All right, from there we have the, let's see here, Baker's Lure Suspending Crankbait RGD Series. Okay, let's see here. Uh, it's this here suspends a depth of three to six feet. Color, I don't see a color on here. I don't see a oh, weight, really anything else. Oh, here we go. Half ounce, two point two and a quarter inches, half ounce. Suspending crankbait. There it is. There in the package. Mm -hmm. Crankbait. Let's see. Dies. What to say here? Six foot or so. I'm going to use a seven foot. That's a half ounce. Either medium to a medium heavy power, moderate action rod, so it's a cranking rod. I would use, since I'm trying to get depth, I would use floor carpet for sure. It's a sinking line. It'll help you achieve your depth. You know, mono is a, is a floating line. I use mono to help control my depth when I want my baits shallower. But if I want my baits deeper, I use a floor carpet. I would probably probably use a 10 to 12 pound test and uh, like a 5.4 or a 6.3 reel. A lot of rattles. Good looking color too. Orange belly. We'll definitely give that a try. Again, that goes for seven dollars and forty nine cents. Good looking color. All right, next we have the Boom Boom Swim Bait. This here would be the biggest swim bait that I own. You guys know I'm not a big swim bait guy yet. I do plan to get into that game, but just haven't done it yet. Uh, this goes for $5.50. That's definitely a pretty big bait here. Uh, I don't see any weight specs on here. Here we go, suggested tackle, here we go. Because I'm not really uh, big in swim baits, we got it right on here. Uh, heavy cover line, 50 pound to 70 pound braid. Open water, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Rod, they suggest a seven foot to a seven foot 11. Uh, heavy power, well they have heavy action. Again, you know, what's the action of the rod? A lot of times you'll hear guys too, you know, I wish they correct themselves because I know it confuses a lot of you guys. Some, some guys will say, I'll use a medium heavy action rod. Well, medium heavy is the power. That's more the butt section, the power of the rod. You know, going up maybe half to three quarters of the blank, depending on what kind of rod it is, or the power of an action of the rod. The action though is the tip. 
So medium heavy, medium heavy, that's the power. Action is the speed of the tip. And I like that moderate action, which is a slower speed. But you always hear those guys say, yeah, I'd use a medium action rod. Well, it's a medium power. What action would you use? You know, medium can have a fast, extra fast, moderate action to it. So some of those guys need to be a little more clear on uh, rod specs when they talk about them. But heavy power, anywhere from a fast to a moderate fast action rod, I'm assuming. Uh, real 6.5 gear ratio. Rig with a wide gap, screw lock weighted swim bait hook, 8 out or larger. Uh, manufacturers may vary, weight quarter ounce. So, you know what, weight, oh no, take that back, sorry. Weight is 1.4 1, 1. ounce. So, definitely if you're throwing swim baits, check the specs on your rods. Just make sure your rod can handle the weight. So this one is 1. 1.4 ounce, and it's a 6 inch bait. There it is there in the package. Color is a ghost of minnow. Good look color. It's a nice looking bait too. I can see that definitely catching a fish. I really need to get into this one bait game. Catch some bigger fish, you know? Oh my god. Hell yeah. We're counting. <laughs> We're counting, boys and girls. Holy crap. Oh man. That's oh, embarrassing. Oh what the fish? <laughs> so we're using a swim bait today. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get closer to this dude. Holy crap. Oh man. So this is our bag. <laughs> there it is. A little joker. Good looking color. And we'll give that a try come spring. Again, that goes for five dollars fifty cents. Pretty cheap for a swim bait. One that I really liked, um, we got a while back from Mr. Tackle Box. I believe it was. It was cheaper too, like five or six bucks. It could have been um, a big bear swim bait. That one's pretty good. It's got pretty good action to it. Uh, twin tail lunker or lake lunkers. Let's see, yeah, this could be it. Lake lunkers. Uh, twin tail. This goes for three dollars and nineteen cents. Alrighty. There it is. There in the package. Mm, can't tell if that's the center. This is plastic. Not much of a scent. Just a little double tail grub there. I'm not real sure on the color. It's kind of like a clear type color. Uh, just like in the last video, I said, you know, we got a, a double tail grub in that video as well. You know, spinner bait trailer, uh, you can put that on the back of a chatter bait. Um, I put it on, on, me personally, me personally, I put that on the back of a jig. Uh, you can Texas rig it, just put it on a jig hook, something like that, swim it. Uh, swim jig trailer, that's another good one there. Um, for that, you know, swim jig trailer, just a jig trailer, I would use like a seven foot, uh, heavy power, you know, moderate, moderate to fast action rod, just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm swimming it, I would go for that moderate action. I like that Akuma seven foot, it's a heavy with a moderate action. It's kind of, it is kind of like my go-to swim jig rod. But, um, you know, if I'm just working a jig, you know, I may lean towards a faster action rod, but, um, so that'd be the rod, line, uh, swim jigs. I like 50 pound braid or 17 pound fluorocarbon. If I'm just tossing a jig, you know, pitching jig, something like that, either 15 pound to 20 pound fluorocarbon and um, reel, you know, like a seven speed reel, 7.3, something like that, 7.1. Again, leave me some feedback. If you guys don't want all the uh, gear specs in the video, I'll leave that stuff out and shorten the videos up. But since we're froze out, really, I'm not fishing. You know, I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys, or at least tell you guys why to throw it on. Oh, I'm not even sure what's next here. That goes for again for $3.19. Next up is the Doodle Worms by Mismo. This looks like a full pack here for $4.99. Let's see here. I <laughs> got my dog over here. She's eating a rock. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, color. Mm, 
three point looks like a three kind of faded there. Three point seven five could be the size there. Looks longer than a four inch worm though. We'll just say four inch worm here. Uh, BW teaser Vita Blue could be the color. It says twelve pack. I see it there in the package. Worm like this, to be honest, um, I don't throw nothing this small. I mean, the plasma tail, I like those for a chatterbait trailer. But, I mean, you, I guess you could put that one on there, the chatterbait trailer. Uh, drop shot, really small shaky head, small Texas rig, split shot rig, something like that. Um, you guys know I really don't use much spinning gear. I would use like a casting rod. Me personally would use a casting rod, like a seven foot, medium light. You know, anywhere from eight to 10 pound test fluorocarbon and like a seven speed reel. But if you're just gonna put that on a spinning rod, you know, like drop shot, small shaky head, split shot rig, something like that. Again, a seven foot medium to a medium light um, spinning rod, you know, with a faster action, something like that. Um, whatever spinning reel you got works just fine. Again, smaller line, you know, eight, 10 pound test, smaller braid with a lead or something like that. But it looks like a, like a PBG, PBJ type color. And then, oh, they're in here, cool. Then we have um, some hooks for that big swim bait. These are the Mustad Power Lock Plus and a 9 Ot. These go for 533. That's a big boy hook right there. <laughs> These I was using for, I thought I had one. Maybe I don't. I was using these for the Kitex. I think I had those in, uh, I think it was a 5 Ot, 8th ounce. Those work really well, these hooks here. Yeah, that's a big boy hook there. And you can slide this weight down towards the belly or up towards, towards the nose. Just gives a little bit different action to it. And wherever you got it where you want it, then you can just pinch it on there with pliers. We've got a screw lock there. Nice wide gap for that swim bait. So, pretty cool. Again, that goes for 533. And then we got the sticker there. And then we got the Double Digest, just like the last box, How to Fish the Grass, Spider Grubs, uh, Three Ways to Catch More Bass on Buzz Baits. So, pretty cool deal, guys. Check it out if you haven't already. Remember, guys, you get your first box at MrTackBox.com for $4.99. Put in the coupon code GET499. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And we'll talk to you soon.